Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Uh, wanted to jump on and discuss Rebellion 2 a little bit. It, uh, Rebellion 2 has come and gone. And uh, we're going to have the full reviews coming up uh, with uh, with BQ and uh, TW. Uh, that'll be coming up. But I want to jump on. Um, not going to be too long. Just want to give... Um, Give some of my thoughts on on the show. Overall, I thought it was a really, really good show. I really enjoyed it. A few questionable things, though, that I'm going to discuss as well. Uh, but overall, I, I give it uh, two thumbs up. Uh, let's uh, so let's let's get right into it. Uh, the main event uh, was supposed to be Michael Elgin versus Tessa Blanchard versus uh, Eddie Edwards. So Tessa Blanchard was um, originally scheduled to defend the Impact World Title against um, the two Elgin and Edwards, but of course the pandemic that's upon us right now kind of put uh, threw a wrench into those plans, and uh, we didn't get that. So Michael Elgin he comes out and um, demands to be called the champion. But then Moose's music hits. And at this point, I thought this was going to be fantastic. I originally, I thought we're going to get Moose versus Michael Elgin. I was pumped up for that. I thought it was going to be a tremendous match between the two. And something that, you know, I wasn't even thinking about. I wasn't thinking about Moose showing up. Uh, but... Um, Thought we were about to get a really, really good match between Moose and Michael Elgin, and quite possibly uh, a number one contenders match. Uh, but Moose comes out and and he reveals that he's wearing uh, the TNA title. Moose is wearing the TNA title. Then Moose goes into the ring, goes verbally back and forth with Michael Elgin, and uh, I thought they were gonna have a I thought they were gonna have a match. All right, we're gonna get the match. But then Hernandez comes out. And Hernandez says a few words, and then the match begins, and suddenly we have a triple threat match, Moose versus Hernandez versus Michael Elgin. Okay, for, first things first, um, I don't know how anybody feels, but I'm not a fan of, of Moose coming out with the TNA title, proclaiming himself the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Point being is Moose was putting down TNA up until the pandemic kind of ruined everything. Uh, we we're going to have the, the, the TNA pay-per-view. Moose was putting the TNA down, but suddenly he wants to be the TNA World Champion. So, so they, he comes out with the belt. Now, I understand. I understand Impact's thinking here. Quite possibly, you know, they, they don't have the world title. It's it's in Mexico with, with Tessa Blanchard. Uh, so they want to have a world title that could be defended uh, during these tapings. So, hey, what we're going to do, let's bring back the TNA title. We'll bring back the TNA title, and uh, we'll essentially do a TNA versus Impact, title versus title thing. You know, I, I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm not a fan of that at all. And the reason I'm not a fan of that is we need to get away from TNA. People are still calling it TNA to these days. It's not TNA anymore. It's Impact Wrestling. Michael Elgin himself in the, in the ring with Moose says, those letters are now Impact Wrestling. He goes, I, I, you know, he said, I understand the history behind the letters TNA, but those letters are now Impact Wrestling. Exactly. They're now Impact Wrestling. So why have Moose coming out with the TNA title? You know, to, in my opinion, it's just going to further confuse things. I mean, I'm on social media. People are thinking that, oh, Moose is the new champion. He goes, when did he become the new champion? You know, and, and they suddenly think TNA is back, but TNA is not back. It's Impact Wrestling. It's, I just, I just I don't like it. I mean, why not? Why not build up the X Division title? Willie Mack is the new X Division champion. Willie Mack is the new X Division champion. Why not just build him up? Build up the X Division title and make it seem as important as it seemed when AJ Styles was holding the title. Uh, they could have done that. This, I mean, they have the title in the time that you know Tessa Blanchard is not participating um, in, in uh, for Impact Wrestling because of the pandemic, which is perfectly understandable. Perfectly understandable. I have no no issue with that at all. But this is your opportunity now to, to build up the X Division title now. But now they they brought in their DNA Championship, and now uh, Moose uh, is proclaiming himself. Himself, the TNA World Champion, and I just I suppose he's going to be defending this title um, during these tapings, and um, eventually you're going to lead lead to a Impact um, versus TNA title for title match, which again not a fan of at all, not a fan. Of, I mean I mean if you want to have Moose and Michael Elgin feud uh, during the I think they have uh, seven eight weeks of, of tapings um, that they that are left new new shows that are left now have them feud. Have Moose and Michael Elgin feud. Have Moose, Moose challenge Michael Elgin for that number one uh, contendership, and and have them feud. I, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. And but and 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 
why why is Hernandez have to be involved in this in this match? You know, and and Josh Matthews, Josh Matthews called Hernandez one of the top contenders for the Impact World Title because he beat Rohit Raju. It didn't make sense. Now the overall match, the overall match was fantastic. I I love the overall match. Uh, great action, great back and forth. Um, because Moose is holding the TNA World Title, he'd have to go over there. Uh, but uh, I, I, like I said, I think Michael Elgin should have won that match. I think Michael Elgin should have defeated uh, Hernandez there uh, to win that um, to win that match and remain the number one contender. And then Moose, you know, have Moose upset and challenge uh, Michael Elgin for that number one spot. You know, it doesn't have to be a series of matches. It could just be the one match. He'll build it up to the one match uh, for the number one contendership, and whoever wins goes on to the triple threat when this whole pandemic has come and gone. That that would have been what I would have done, uh, but that's not what uh, Scott DeMore and Don Callis are doing. And uh, Josh Matthews really uh, dropping the ball, though. Uh, dropping the ball. And I don't want to be negative or anything, but he was dropping the ball with, uh, with the announcing. Uh, first, trying to make us believe that Hernandez, who has a victory over uh, Rohit Raju, and I think one other victory in a TNA uh, TNA um, matchup. Uh, it was on the TNA show. I forget who he, who he won, but who he beat. But... Uh, to, for Josh Matthews to try to convince the viewer at home, the intelligent viewer at home, all the viewers at home, <laughs> we're all intelligent, that, that Hernandez is a top contender for the uh, Impact World title is, is ludicrous. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just ludicrous. And, and then he also said that Moose never held a singles title. Uh, while he was uh, while in Impact Wrestling. I guess Josh Matthews forgot about the Grand Championship. I think Moose had two title reigns as the grand champion. Uh, but I, I guess Josh Matthews uh, f- completely forgot about that. Uh, so so Moose has held a singles title while he was uh, with Impact Wrestling. And you can't even make the argument that it was TNA back then because it wasn't TNA. It was Impact Wrestling. Uh, but but like I said, overall the match was really good. I just, I just would have went in a, in a different direction. Uh, the opening match was just pure fire, man. The opening match, absolutely pure fire. Chris Bay uh, defeating Rohit Raju, Suicide, and Trey Miguel. Absolutely loved it. Great way to start the show. This, this, uh, I love how Impact Wrestling starts the majority of their shows. Last week's match, not included, uh, but they usually start the show with with just an incredible match, and um, this was this. This fit the bill of being an incredible match, man. Uh, I personally wanted Rohit Raju to go over because I think they're um, they're setting Rohit Raju up for a singles run. And if you're familiar with him on the indie scene, uh, he's Hakeem Zayn. Uh, and uh, speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, I'm just going to plug. I just did a, an interview with uh, Rohit Raju, uh, and that'll be coming out next week. Uh, so we talk about um, a possible singles run. Uh, but I, I I feel that uh, Rohit Raju. Uh, would be um, fantastic um, as a singles wrestler. Like I said, on the indie scene, he's Hakeem Zayn, and he is absolutely fantastic on the uh, on the indie scene. It's just uh, he's he's more intense. He's more intense on the uh, on the indie scene, and he does. Um, he's a fantastic wrestler, and I I really believe he deserves a shot um, at a singles run in Impact Wrestling. But not taken away from Chris Bay. Chris Bay is also fantastic. If anyone else was going to go over, it, oh, Chris Bay. I'm very happy that Chris Bay won. And and, and if you were on Twitter, uh, Twitter um, right after the match, Chris Bay was uh, was just plugging himself like <laughs> plugging himself like there's no tomorrow, man. Uh, but uh, I, I've been a fan of Chris Bay uh, since he uh, started with Impact Wrestling, and um, I'm looking forward to him. I I think uh, just. Go right away, man. Just um, make him uh, make him a top contender to the X Division title, and I love to see before these tapings end. I love to see Willie Mack defending the X Division title against Chris Bay. One thing, though, uh, again, the announcing wasn't very good. the The announcing wasn't very good, and I think BQ uh, pointed this out as well on his uh, on the on the week uh, on on the. Um, Rebellion uh, Night One review, uh, but look, for example, uh, Madison Rain. Madison Rain said that uh, Willie Mack should have his eyes on this exhibition match, and he shouldn't be out partying right now and driving around. <laughs> Let's think about that for a second. He shouldn't be out partying right now. First of all, we're, we're in a pandemic. Where, where is he going to be partying? 
Where is she going to be partying? Is that because there's no place for him to party? And and why would she say that he shouldn't be driving around? So so is she is she uh, implying that <laughs> Willie Mac has won the X Division title, so he's going to get in his car and <laughs> just start driving around? So I just it's just 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 really bad. I don't I'm not sure why they're they're using Madison Rain. Um, I mean, could they get Mike Tenay back? Could they, could they have they have gotten Mike Tenay back for uh for these uh for these tapings? That would have been that would have worked. Uh, I don't I don't think he I th- I'm pretty sure he's he's living in the United States. I'm not sure he's I don't think he's Canadian. Uh, but anyway, but uh, they could have uh, they could have gotten him back. Or maybe they tried and he just didn't want to come back. But I th- I think Mike Tenay would have been a a nice uh, little addition here. Uh, but um. Yeah, so that's that was that was that, and also we had uh, Joseph Ryan uh, versus um, versus cousin Jake. Now the, the right person won here. The right person. This was a good match. This was a good match. I enjoyed. It. I enjoyed it, and uh, I was a little nervous that um, that uh, Joey Ryan was going to lose this match because um, if he lost this match, then you would have to just go ahead and cancel cancel culture. But I'm um, glad he got over. He cheated to win. This is this is how he should have been booked. From the, from the very beginning, not lose a match right away to Cody Deaner. He should have. He should be in a, a series of matches, and he cheated to win this match. And he should be cheating to win uh, every single match that he's in as they build up his new character. Uh, when he lost to Cody Deaner, I felt they kind of took that 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 little. Uh, that little rub away, um, the, trying to build up the new character, kind of took it away, but um, but he, I think he got it back here in this match uh, by uh, by cheating to win, and um, I'm glad. You know, I feel the right guy went over here. Now, cousin Jake. Now, again, on the Indies, if you follow the Indies, you know cousin Jake is is a wrestler known as Jake something. Absolutely dynamic wrestler on the indie scene. I think, you know, I I don't think the Deaners need to go on anymore. I know a lot of people are a fan of the Deaners tag team. But I, I think Cousin Jake should become Jake something, and they should unleash him as a monster in Impact Wrestling. And he would get the job done. Him and actually Rohit Raju, on the Indies, when he's known as Hakeem Zane, they have had some absolutely killer matches. I'm just thinking, get Hakeem Zane, get Jake something, and just let them loose. Let them have a feud. Just... Scott Demore, Don Callis say, Hakeem, Jake, the ring's all yours. Just go all out. Don't hold back. And they would have an absolutely tremendous match like they've been having on the indie scene over and over again. Anytime these two get together. Uh, so I, I would love to see Cousin Jake uh, turn on Cousin uh, cousin Diener. Turn on Cody Diener and uh, become Jake something. And uh, feud with Cody Diener for a bit, and um, go on and be a, a, a singles wrestler. He's just he again. He's absolutely fantastic. And again, if uh, you you're not familiar with him on the indie scene, go to YouTube, type in Jake something, and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And then we had the full metal mayhem match. The full metal mayhem match. Rosemary um, defeated Havoc. I really enjoyed this match. I. Um, a uh, fan of Rosemary, I, I love her. Uh, I love her um, ring entrance. That's uh, one of the best in professional wrestling, and uh, it was a good match, good back and forth match. There we had a lot of, uh, lot of uh, weapons. It looked like uh, Rosemary um, brought out, <laughs> brought out Tommy Dreamer's garbage can full of uh, stop signs and um, street signs to use, uh, which was which which was fun. It was a fun match, uh, although you know, Josh Matthews claiming that. The pipe in the ring was a lead pipe when it clearly wasn't a lead pipe. It was a plastic pipe. Uh, but, but no, that's okay. You know, um, Josh Matthews dropping the ball a little bit. Uh, dropped the ball more than once on the uh, on, on the announcing uh, during this uh, during the show. But no, I enjoyed the match. And we had uh, Navia. I hope I pronounced that name right. Navia. I believe uh, I'm almost certain that, that that was Jake Chris's wife. As, as a matter of fact, I am certain it was Jake Chris's wife. And if I'm wrong, I, I apologize. Uh, but it was interesting to see her there. It's interesting to see a new face. Uh, makes you wonder how they're going to use her. How they're going to use Navia. Uh, was she there because she? It's going to feud with Rosemary. Was she there because she was going to feud with Havoc? I thought she was going to get involved in the match. I'm glad she didn't. It, it kind of, um, uh, it, 
I, I kind of like uh, the storyline where it remains a mystery as, as to why she's there. And I'm sure that will be played out in the uh, next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so, and one more thing. They had... Um, they had Willie Mac, Willie Mac, and I, I think they're trying to they're teasing a Willie Mac, Johnny Swinger match, and I I hope, I hope they're not because you know just you know Willie Mac, Johnny Swinger just doesn't do anything for me. I don't think it does anything for anybody. I mean, if you look at the that X Division match, um, Chris Bay, Rohit Raju, Trey Miguel, any of those other three, Suicide, even Suicide, you know, any of those guys, um, are a better option to um to. Get the first. Well, it would be Chris Bay because Chris Bay won the won that match. But uh, any of those guys would be a better option uh, than Johnny Swinger um, to uh, to have to to feud for the X Division title. <laughs> In my opinion. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because it seems it just seems like they're using Johnny Swinger. They're overusing Johnny Swinger. Is he? If, is it? Is it me or does it, does it seem like he's like in? Even before the, the this whole pandemic thing happened, it's does it mean it's, it seemed like he's in like every fourth scene or every fourth segment, every third or fourth segment, Johnny Swinger's showing up somewhere. Uh, so that's just 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 the way uh, just the way I'm there's just something I've noticed, man. Uh, but anyway, so that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up there because I know, uh, like I said, uh, my boys BQ and uh, TW they have a, a full review of Rebellion coming up. Uh, if it's not already out, I just want to uh, put in uh, my two cents. That said, again, I just want to say I have an interview coming up. Um, will be released probably within the next week or so uh, with uh, Rohit Raju. It was a great interview. Uh, always fun chatting with Rohit Raju. And uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things we went over. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that one. And until then, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. And please, guys, stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.